Hello, sports fans and White Sox fans. I'm here to discuss the second half of the season coming up. It's coming up. And for the, well, the second time in two years and the second time in however many years, the White Sox will not be sellers. We may be buyers. And that's an interesting situation for us. Now, presently, the White Sox are 54 and 35, and we have an eight game lead on the Cleveland Indians. And they're the team right behind us. And it's an eight game lead. That is actually the biggest lead that any team has on uh, the second place team in their division in Major League Baseball. So, we find ourselves in a very nice situation. So let's take a look at the American League standings. So you can see here, we've got the American League standings as they presently are. The Red Sox are leading the American League at 55 and 36. One and a half games behind them are the Rays, still in contention, obviously. The Blue Jays are behind them at 50, or 45 and 42 and eight games back. And now with the, with the Blue Jays and the Yankees, I would say that they're really on the bubble as, as far as whether they can contend or not contend, whether they could sell or buy in the second half. And then, of course, the Orioles are 28 and 61 and they're done. So now we got the Central. We move on to the Central. As I said, the White Sox are 54 and 35 and in first place by eight games over Cleveland. And then you've got the Tigers at 40 and 51, 15 games back. The Twins at 39 and 50 at 15 games back. And the Royals bringing up the rear at 38 and 53 at 18 games back. So the only team here that even has a shot is, is Cleveland at catching us, I think. I mean, if anybody out there thinks that maybe Detroit has a shot, let me know. But, um, and then I'll, I'll have you go back through baseball history and reassess that. But I think the Indians clearly are the only ones that even have a chance. And I think that's questionable. And then if we look at the American League West, you got the Astros leading the way um, at 55 and 36, and then uh, the Athletics at 52 and 40, and then the Mariners at 48 and 43. Again, they're kind of a bubble team. They're you know they could they could buy or sell. Um, it's just however their management feels about it. And then I think the the Angels also maybe a bubble team, buy or sell. Now, I looked at the schedule for the second half for the White Sox, and the overall record of all of the teams that we play, and that means each time that we play them, added up the wins, losses, it comes out to just under 500, a just under 500 record. So basically, we're playing the equivalent of an 81-win team for the rest of the season, on average. Now, there are some good teams in there that we're, that we're going to have. We, we still have to play Houston three more times. Um, we uh, have to play Tampa Bay, uh, I think, three more times. Um, the Yankees, we got the Yankees again. I think, a couple, I think we have a couple games still left against the Yankees. We have Boston, so we do have some teams that we've still got to play. I mean, we have to play all the division leaders, at least, you know, one more series. Um, and we have some good teams in there that we have to play. But, again, to our advantage is that we play, still play a ton of games against the AL Central, and the AL Central is full of bad teams. Even the Indians at 45 and 42, they're, I mean, really, that's not a good record. Um, it's, they're barely a 500 team. And um, so they, uh, 
So now that brings up the question, what should the White Sox do in the second half? I think we've got the division locked up. Uh, a playoff berth on the division title. I don't see a problem with that, um, even if we did nothing. Even if we made no moves, we've got Eloy Jimenez coming back uh, at the end of July. End of July, maybe beginning of August, somewhere in that time frame. Um, I think there's a possibility that Madrigal comes back at some point this season. Uh, we'd sent Mercedes down, but, you know, if Mercedes works on whatever it is down there that he needs to work on, he could be back. Um, and he has shown himself to be, at times, potentially a very good hitter. Um, so, you know, and we've got uh, uh, Angle is back now and playing well. So, I think on the offensive side of the ball, I think we're fine. I, I know I've heard speculation that we'll go out and possibly get um, Chris Bryant from the Cubs. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think we would probably have to pay a steep price to get Chris Bryant from the Cubs. And I would not be in favor of paying a steep price to get Chris Bryant. I don't think it would be worth it. Um... Starting pitching, we're really fine on starting pitching. I don't think we need, um, as far as the season goes, I don't think we need starting pitching. We could use another good starter for the rotation, possibly in the postseason, because um, Cease has been wildly inconsistent. And um, so that, you know, that could potentially cost us, or, you know, cause a, an issue for the White Sox in the postseason. Um, but I, I don't think they'll go and get another starter because the starters are going to be at a premium. They're going to be expensive too, just like Chris Bryant. But we could use another one or two arms in the bullpen. I think that that's really what the White Sox should go after in the second half. I think we really could use a couple more arms out there in the pen. Um... And I think if we do that, we should be in good shape. I think that's really probably the only move the White Sox need to make. It's probably the only move they should make. We don't need Chris Bryant. We don't need uh, Marte. We don't need some of the other big name guys that have been floated around um, as possibilities. Some teams will want to go out and get Scherzer. I don't think we should go get Scherzer. He'll probably cost too much. So I think that's where we stand. I think we are positioned very nicely in the second half of the season and to get to the postseason. The only question is what happens when the postseason arrives. And that may be an entirely different story. We do have a sub-500 record against good teams, good playoff caliber teams. So we got to do better there, but we're going to be getting Eloy back. And again, Mercedes in the uh, minors, if he can work on whatever it is he needed to work on that caused him to go into the tank and he can improve his hitting, we could possibly get him back as another um, offensive piece. So, um, uh, the one thing I would say about Bryant is Bryant would help us as a postseason team. He would be a big boost for us in our offense as a postseason team. But for the rest of this, the regular season, he probably won't impact whether we win the division or not because we're going to win the division. So that's my thoughts on the second half. I think we should probably go out and get a at least a an ace relief pitcher or two good ones. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, and uh, and you know, if you want to discuss your teams and what you think they need. Um, that's fine, too, but I'm talking about the White Sox, lady. So, yeah, let me know in the comments, but that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.